So there are various uh, roles which we're hoping to fill. I know you've been working jolly hard trying to come up with some suitable candidates. <laughs> if we start with the accountancy position, because I think that's probably the most straightforward, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I have had a bit of an idea on this one. I think you'll be surprised, but hopefully as excited as I am. What do you reckon to Lindsay Davenport? <laughs> Presumably not the tennis player. The former world number one, yes. <laughs> right. Um, what are her qualifications? Well, she's won three Grand Slams, uh, an Olympic gold medal. She's been world number one for... In tennis? Yes, this is all in tennis. <laughs> she's known by fans and fellow professionals alike as thoughtful and well-balanced, and she's the tallest woman ever to win a Grand Slam singles title. <laughs> so, it's all good. Right, I just wonder... I mean, take me with you here. Greg, um, in what way any of these things qualify her for an accountancy job? Are you really suggesting that working out your payroll is harder than winning Wimbledon? <laughs> no, I'm saying it requires different skills. Dedication, determination, peak physical fitness, excellent ground strokes. I'm not sure we'd need those last two. Well, they couldn't do any harm. I mean, look at Sue Barker. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> well, she never really had the ground strokes. You're not convinced. I can tell. It was just an idea. Let's move on. Right. Um, head of marketing. Ah, oh, right. Well, I think I'm actually going to surprise you again. You're not going to suggest another tennis player, are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I was actually going to suggest the same tennis player, <laughs> Lindsay Davenport. OK, I'm just not sure what she has to offer the world of business. Well, you say that, but she's actually recently been considered for a major accountancy post. <laughs> Greg, I haven't got much time. Let's move on again. Now, the really important post which we must fill is Chief Operating Officer. Now, I'd like to hear what your suggestions for that are, but I'm going to ask you not to say Lindsay Davenport. <laughs> OK, well, business is about thinking outside the box and not always working to the brief you've been given. So I think I might be about to surprise you again when I say that I am going to say Lindsay Davenport. <laughs> Now, I'll be honest with you, Tim. If you do go for Lindsay as Chief Operating Officer, there is one major drawback. Which is? It leaves you with a massive gap in accountancy and marketing. <laughs> Greg, have you actually interviewed any serious candidates for any of the jobs I briefed you about? Well, to be honest with you, Tim, I was so impressed by the meeting I had with Lindsay Davenport <laughs> that I pretty much called off the search. I mean, she is terrific. She's so tall. <laughs> Have you actually got anyone else on your books at all? Oh, uh, y yes, yes, of course. There's, um, <clears throat> uh, Alan, um, Davenport. <laughs> Quite a coincidence. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? No, no, I'm, I'm just going through the Ds. So, tell me about Alan. Well, he's tall, likes tennis, <laughs> uh, bit of a womanly bearing, excellent ground strokes, known as Lindsay to his friends. Good <laughs> 